Hey YouTube, this is Dog 2233 and today I'll be showing you how to make a, cust or, um, a custom clan tag and how to make your custom classes colorful. So, go to play online and your clan tag, you can just modify that without having to do anything. As you can see I have my normal custom classes and what you have to do is you have to put two dots before you name it so I'm going to name this one AK-47 and whenever you want to change the color of a text you have to put two dots before it and obviously it's not changed yet but that's how you do it so you just go through put those at the beginning of all your custom classes And I'm going to try something new on this one. So just bear with me. I'm going to try having two different colors at the beginning of one of this one. So dot dot and dot dot. And remember there can't be spaces. So if you have spaces, you have to make sure that the two dots are touching it. So right here I'm going to try and make it have two different colors, so go ahead, switch it to that. Now, see I have all that. Now you have to go just start a match, just so it saves all of your stuff when you back out. Because right now it hasn't done anything on the internet to save your stuff. I don't know if you have to start a map, but I always like to, just to make sure everything is gonna work. Alright. Now you just back out and then you just do this. Head on over to quit game. Hang on, I have to go plug my flash drive in. <clears throat> Alright, so, so next you go over to Save Game Utility, COD 4, copy it to your flash drive. Alright right, guys, so once you have your COD 4 thing on the flash drive, you have to open up HXD. I'll leave a, a free no survey link in the description. So you can get it for free without having to waste your time with a stupid survey. Alright, I don't know if I normally have this full screen on. So that, anyway, you open this program up, click on open file. Go to your flash drive. Go to PS3, save data, and COD 4. These are like all Modern Warfare 2 things. If you notice, they all have 377 at the end of them. 72 is this one. And then Grando MP, or GPADO MP. MP stands for multiplayer, so it's an easy way to remember it. And then this stuff will come up. Now, looks like gibberish, will me? Just tell you, alright. You just have to read it. Set playlist, set clan name. So I'll show you the clan tag hack first, because it's the least complicated. So, you just do clan, highlight the four letters in clan name. No, you cannot make it any bigger. And then you go to search C H A R M A P char map every windows computer has it and then some of these characters don't work but I'm just gonna make mine C dog with characters that I always use so it's the copyright symbol that I mean 
all these ones towards the beginning, mainly the ones that have accents above them, those ones don't work. So let me just try and find, I always, I always can't find, the, oh, here it is. See dog, and there's no G's that work. I know there's G's on char map, but none of them work, so I just go with a normal G. Click copy on it. And then you just right click on this and hit paste insert, and you... And if it did work, it'll have all four characters in red, which just means that there was a change made to it. Now right here, <coughs> right here is the custom class, set custom class 1 dot dot AK-47. Now to add a color to it, you highlight these two dots, and I don't know what this character is called, it's the shift 6, that little icon, and then any number from 1 to 6, I believe corresponds to a color and it might not there might be more so I'm just gonna go ahead one is red set custom class two dot dot m60 and you can't change the size of the hex that's how come I told you to put two dots before your name those two dots will go away with these and I'm gonna see if there's more with this one so my m16 rape class might not cuz I'm gonna go with a seven to see if that works. Set class names. Alright, and six I know is pink. And I don't know why stuff is popping up on my screen. It has nothing to do with the program, so don't do that. Alright, and here I'm gonna try and make it two different colors, so what ones haven't I done yet? Looks like I'm gonna try three and five. Hyphen three. Don't highlight spi spaces, by the way. Just leave it. Just make sure you only have those selected. Five. All right. So my custom. Cl I'm doing some experimenting right here. Now, as you can see, these characters are red. Now you have to click save, and they should all go black. That now that's what the game reads, which means that they will be colored. And I've tried adding, like, set custom class 6 at the bottom of it, but it doesn't work, so don't ask me about that. Alright, so once you do that, just do save all, or whatever, and then just X out, and it should have saved it on your flash drive. And I'll be back. What the heck is this? I don't know why it has a notepad open, but I'll be switching back over to my PS3 now. Alright guys, now I am back with the thing, or with the modded file on my flash drive. Now you just go to load up your flash drive. Select copy on COD4, and it'll ask you to overwrite, and you have to say yes. Once you do that, just go boot Modern Warfare 2. Or not Modern Warfare 2, COD4. I'm too used to modding Modern Warfare 2. Except I do not promote hacking. I just... I thing is the difference between a mod and a hack is a mod is just a client modification that just kind of makes it cooler hacking is ruining everybody else's game which I do not promote or do all I do is these little mods and a lot of people like them because they're a lot of fun and you don't have to worry about getting banned or anything so gotta wait for it to download settings and I haven't checked this yet so uh, it may take a while. It's actually taking pretty long. Alright, as you can see, right away, my clan tag is modded. Not sure. I can zoom in on that if it isn't very clear. Clan tag. As you can see right there, it has those custom things on it. Just do not hit start or it will detect that it's wrong. And as you can see, I succeeded at making my class two colors 
but it only goes up to pink. There is no seven. So I don't know. I know red is one. The pink is six. And I always forget what these all these colors are. There's also dark blue, which is four. So yeah, but I know a lot of people get into like modded lobbies and stuff that ha that give you colored classes, but the problem with those are is the fact that you can't rename them after that. This is how you can make your own colored classes. Undetected, so Yep, that's about it. Custom clan tag and custom classes and I'll just start a match just to show you that it also works, that it's colored even in online play when you go to pick your class. But wow, I didn't know I could make two different colors on it. So I'll definitely be doing that. So as you can see, these are now modded colors. And that's permanent. You can just copy it to your flash drive, keep experimenting with it, but that's it.